Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about objective questions and answers of metal casting processes. So here this is our part number 10 that will be containing with top 15 questions. So let's start with our question number 1. For grey cast iron, the volumetric sinkage is of the order of option A. 2% to 5 percentage, option B 5% to 8.5 percentage, option C 3.3% to 5 percent and option D 1.9% to negative value. So basically for grey cast irons the volumetric shrinkage during the castings and that will be around 1.9% to its negative value. So the right answer is option D. The next question, the pouring temperature for grey cast iron is Option A, 1000 degree centigrade Option B, 1250 degree centigrade Option C, 1400 degree centigrade And Option D, 1650 degree centigrade So basically, if you want to make a grey cast iron so the pouring temperature that will be around 1400 degree centigrade. So the right answer is option C. The next chilled surfaces are marked on the pattern by option A oblique red strip, option B yellow cross strip, option C black cross strip on yellow and option D oblique red cross strips on yellow. So basically that would be talking about a chilled surfaces. So basically the chilled surface are marked onto the pattern by oblique red cross strips onto the yellow. So the right answer is option D. The next centrifugal method of casting is used to Option A. Use heavy cast iron mold to act as a chill. Option B. Ensure purity and density at extremities of a casting option C cast symmetrical objects and option D none of the above so basically the centrifugal methods of the castings that will be generally used cast iron mold to act as a chill so the right answer is option A the next question a large integrate Heavy castings weighting in tons is to be cast. The most appropriate molding process would be Option A. Machine molding Option B. Peat molding Option C. Cement molding and Option D. Green sand molding So basically with respect to the size and uh, integrated castings So we are preferring peat molding processes So Right answer is option B. The next question. The patterns in the case of the machine molding are mounted on Option A. Match plates Option B. Molding boards Option C. Follow boards and Option D. Steel tables So in case of the machine moldings the patterns are mounted onto the match plates Option A. The next question Distortion allowance is not provided in the following shape of casting Option A U Option B T Option C C and Option D O So basically in case of the distortion allowance that will be providing onto the U shape T shape and C shape But that will be not providing onto the O shape So the right answer is option D The next the hot chamber die casting method is used to cast Option A Brass Option B Aluminium Option C Copper Option D Alloys of lead, tin and zinc So basically the hot chamber die casting method that will be most preferred to produce the cast material from alloys of lead, tin and zinc So option D The next Blind risers Option A Assist in feeding the metal into the casting particles Option B 
help to drag slag or other lighter particles? Option C. Supply the hottest metal while pouring is completed. And option D. Do not exist. So basically the application of blind risers that will be supply the hottest metal when pouring is completed because blind risers it will be not open to the environment it will be into the either into the cop area or it will be at your side area so that will be used to supply the hot metal when pouring is completed so option c the next the allowances to be provided in the disposable patterns are option a shrinkage and finish option b distortion option c seek allowance and option d both a and b so basically both a and b or you can say shrinkage and finish as well as the distortions that will be provided into a disposable patterns so option d the next the sand is packed on peat molds with option a sand slinger option b manually option c squeezers and option d portable blowers so basically sand slingers that will be used to pack the sands onto the peat mold so option a the next sprue in castings refers to get option b runner option c vertical passage and option d horizontal passage so basically sprue that will be basically onto the vertical positions so it will be providing a vertical passage and that will be connected with the pouring basin and getting systems to supply the molten metal towards the casting or you can say kvt so vertical passage option c which of the following helps in entrapping impurities and debris flowing towards the casting option a sprue well option b sprue option c chalk and option d skim bob so basically the skim bob that will be helps to entrapping impurities and debris flowing towards the castings so the right answer is option d the next question fly wheels track wheel and gears can be produced by option a true centrifugal casting option b semi centrifugal casting option c centrifugal casting and you can say none of the above so basically if you want to make a uh, fly wheels or you can say track wheels or sometimes it will be gears that will be used to make by a semi centrifugal casting process so right answer is option b the next the hot tearing in a metal casting is due to option a high fluidity option b wide range of solidification temperature option c high melt temperature and option d low coefficient of thermal expansions so basically in case of hot tearings into the metal castings due to the wide range of the solidification temperature so option b so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching